Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So firstly, before I actually start the video, please excuse my voice. I literally sound like a guy right now and it's because I'm quite sick at the moment. So just yeah, excuse all that. But I am currently filming this video because I literally have not filmed again in the longest time. I think the last video I uploaded was maybe a month or two ago and then the one before that was another month or two ago just because everything's been so busy it's been Christmas, New Year's and everything like that so it was a very busy time and I was away for most of that period so I thought I'd come back and try and get back into the whole filming thing again I know I said that in my last video and then I didn't upload for like a month or two but I am actually going to start trying now so for this video I didn't really want to do like a makeup video or makeup tutorial just because I wanted to do something a little bit more different since that's pretty much all I've uploaded. I do have a lot of other videos that I do plan on filming that aren't just going to be makeup tutorials so it'll add a bit more, I don't know, quite a bit more of different content to my channel. So I think hopefully the videos that I do have planned will make it a bit more exciting um, so you're not just like makeup. But for this video I thought I would show you my top favourite beauty products. There's skincare, there's teeth whitener, there's um, perfumes and some makeup products that I absolutely love so much that I wanted to share with you. And because I do get quite a few questions on some of the things that I am showing you as well and wh like what I use for these. That didn't make sense. Like what I use. So I thought I would just get straight into it. So... <clears throat> oh my gosh. So just to start with, I used I only just recently started um using like a teeth whitener. I guess you could call this a teeth whitener. So I used the Electric Smile Activated Charcoal, which just looks like this. So this is a obviously a charcoal powder that you use to brush your teeth with. So you just dip a toothbrush into it and then use like brush your teeth with it. Um basically the use of that it isn't going to whiten your teeth like it it's more to get the stains off your teeth if you drink coffee if you drink a lot of coke or colored drinks like quite dark colored drinks I don't know if food counts as well maybe food does but basically the aim of that is just to um get rid of that and lighten that up so it's not actually going to whiten 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 your teeth like even whiter than teeth should be but definitely does do or has made a difference. I've noticed a huge difference with my teeth and my smile. So a lot of people did ask if I do what in my teeth and what products I use. So that's definitely one product I use. And then usually straight afterwards, obviously you need to brush your teeth with a toothpaste. Just because your teeth will be blacker. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting tongue, tongue twisted. Your teeth will be black otherwise. So I always use this one here, which is the Professional Choice White Glow. So this did come as like a kit, and it came with like a teeth whitener as well that you, um, like a tube that you put in like a teeth mold and you put that in your teeth. So I used to always use that as well. I don't use it as much just because it's a little bit more time consuming because you have to stand there for like 15, 20 minutes with this mold in your mouth and you literally can't speak. And it's... And I don't like doing it as much. And maybe I do it once a month, every two weeks. So that's why I do stick with the um, Electric Smile Activated Charcoal. So yeah, this is just a teeth whitening toothpaste as well that I use on top. Just, I guess, for a little bit of extra whiteness. But again, like this is not going to go and turn your teeth white overnight or straight away. You have to obviously keep using it. And the same with this Electric Smile. You have to keep on using it more than once if you want it to work. In terms of my skincare... So I do have quite a few products I did want to show you. So in terms of exfoliator, my favourite all-time exfoliator that I highly recommend is this Clinique Exfoliating Scrub. So I actually went to go and try buy this the other day online, but I couldn't actually find it anymore. So I hope they... Well... Okay. So I hope they do still sell it, but honestly, this makes such a difference. Like, I've used quite a few different exfoliators, and I find that a lot of them... Like, they don't really do much. Like, some of them have these little bead things in it that they just dissolve, and those do nothing for me. But this one's, like, a real thick one, so it's kind of like a clay one. And like, you put it on your skin. You you wet your skin a little bit, and then you put it on, and, like, you just rub it in for about, I don't know, three minutes or so. And then when you wash it off, your, your skin on your face is literally just feels like it's breathing. Like, it goes so cold, 
but it's because of um, how clean your skin is. So I honestly swear by this and I highly, highly, highly recommend this if you're looking for a really good exfoliator. It's a little bit more pricier than like, I don't know, your normal supermarket ones. I'm pretty sure this one's maybe 60 or 70 bucks, but honestly, it's worth the money. Um, definitely with skincare, it's worth the money with some things, I guess. The next product that I use in my skincare, which I have already talked about in a previous video on my skincare, but this is the Volo Skincare Anti Blemish Spray with tea tree oil and manuka extract. So, like I said, I did talk about it in another video and I still do use it. But the reason why I wanted to include it again is to actually tell you how much it actually does work. So when I did start using it, I did notice a difference. And then for a while I became really lazy and I stopped using it. And then I noticed that I started to get a lot more blemishes back again. So then I went back and started using this again and they started to disappear again. So I highly recommend trying out this product. It is a New Zealand company, I believe. Pretty sure I said it in the last video as well. Um, but yeah, basically it's just a spray that you spray on. I usually spray it on before I do my makeup and then when I go to bed as well. Or usually when I wake up, before I do my makeup and then when I go to bed. So two to three times a day. And I have definitely noticed a massive difference with that. And then the final skincare product that I use. I don't want to make this fully like skincare. So I'm only going to talk about a few products, but this is my moisturizer that I use. So I use this at night just because it's quite a lot thicker and it's not as, or it's kind of oily, but it's not like that bad. But like, I wouldn't obviously put this underneath my foundation for me personally, just because I don't like a um, shiny finish, which is why I stick with the simple <sighs> moisturizer. I think it's like the light one or something like that. This is the Carbon White Multi-Active Night Cream. And this is a New Zealand product as well. Excuse the lid, it's a little bit dusty. But as you can see from how much I have left, I literally use this so much. I use it every single night as my moisturizer when I take off my... or once I've taken off my makeup. Literally, it leaves your skin feeling so smooth. As smooth as like a baby's butt. Like, I'm not even kidding you. It's the nicest feeling ever. And when you wake up in the morning, like, your skin feels so much softer and so hydrated. And so, I, yeah, literally use this every single night. Highly recommend. I'm going to leave all these products linked down below as well. Just in case anyone is interested. So this is kind of like a weird product. It's not really, oh, I use it for what it's not actually used for. So a lot of people ask what I use for my, when I do my slick ponytail. So I don't have any in my hair right now, but I did wet this last night when I went out. And I will use this product to like slick all my hair back when I don't want to wash it the next day. So like if I use hairspray or hair gel or something like that, then I obviously have to wash it because my hair feels disgusting if I don't. But if I use this, it actually doesn't do anything to my hair. Like I can go still another two or three days without washing it. But I literally just use a clear brow gel to do it. So this is just an essence one, which is a lash and brow clear mascara. So as you can see, it just has this wand as well. And honestly, like, it honestly, I'm actually going to show you how I use it. So I've just got a little mirror in front of me. I'm not even kidding you when I say this. This is so cheap. This essence one is only, I think, like $4 maybe. And it literally holds your hair down the whole entire night. So as you can see, it's just like sleeking it back completely. And this is so much better to use over like hairspray again if you don't want to wash your hair. Just because... Like, this isn't a real, like, you can still put your fingers through it. It doesn't feel like you've got product in your hair. But it literally does the best job ever at holding back all those baby hairs that stick out, which I think I just made one stick out up there. Oops, just because there's a clip behind. But highly recommend using, like, any clear brow gel is fine. This is just the one I use, but if you can find any clear brow gel, then I highly recommend using that. If you don't want to have to keep washing your hair every single day after using hairspray. Especially since this is like a regular hairstyle that I do use. And obviously washing your hair every day isn't actually that healthy. So yeah. Try this and you'll thank me later. 
The next product that I do really like, this isn't a beauty product. Well, it is a beauty product, but it's not like makeup or skincare or anything. It's actually a brush cleaner. So I use this Mecca Cosmetica um, brush cleaner here. And honestly, it is the most easiest and makes cleaning brushes so easy. I usually use this when I need to um, clean brushes in between clients or if I just can't be bothered washing my brushes and they really need to clean, I can usually just spray this on like a paper towel and then you just wipe um, the brush in it. And a lot of other brush cleaners that I've used that are similar to this always leave the brushes feeling wet afterwards so you can't actually use it straight away. But then this one doesn't, so the brushes literally dry straight away after you've cleaned them with this product, which I love so you can obviously use the brushes use the brushes straight away rather than having to wait um but yeah this honestly is a life changer um and it's not actually that expensive either this is only like 26 dollars i think which i think is really good because it is a 150 ml bottle and this lasts ages this has lasted me a whole year i just went and brought a, another one as a backup because this one's almost empty so that is definitely one product that i would recommend using the thing is with that one so i went to go and try buy it in the shop i don't know if it was just the one shop that i went to or if it's in general but it wasn't there so i managed to get mine online so i'm 100 percent sure they're online i'm not too sure if they're in stores still that is pretty much all of the products that i had to talk about today hopefully this video wasn't boring but i just wanted to do something different again other than like a makeup video and I guess show you my favourite products that I like using. Again, because a lot of you have asked what I use for certain things and how, you know, why I use them and things like that. Like I've already said. But yeah, hopefully this video was helpful. I will link most of the products if I can in the description box so you can cl click on the links and find those products for yourself. But until then, hopefully I have another video that I will be uploading next week. Um, if not, then... The week after or as soon as I can but like I said I do want to start getting back into it and having slightly different videos I guess or content on my channel but until then I hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time